Hello. In this session, we're going to talk about required operator comments in web control. Now, this feature is part of the 21 CFR Part 11 compliance of web control, and we talked about it briefly in the 21 CFR Part 11 overview. Now we're going to talk about exactly what it is and how to configure it. And the first thing I want you to know about required operator comments is that this feature is part of the advanced security package in web control. It's an optional package that can be purchased in addition to the base version of web control. What it does is it requires the operator to record a reason for the change they make in the system. And I'll show you an example of that in a moment. In order, though, to get this feature to work, the first thing you have to do is you have to verify on the configure tree system settings page under the security tab that you are logging your audit data to the database. And the reason for this is, as we make the changes in web control and we log the reasons for those changes, they get sent to the database so they can then be retrieved with a report. Therefore, you must be logging audit data to your database. I'm going to navigate to the error handling unit. We'll go to the graphics page. And let's just go ahead and make a quick parameter change here. I'm going to change that set point to 1.75. And we see this is the normal operation. We've changed the set point in web control. We know how to do that. There's nothing different with this right now. But suppose for this particular piece of equipment, the specification required that I log a reason for making that change. Well, the first thing I would have to do is I would have to go into Site Builder and set this zone up for this particular feature. In other words, by default, Web Control does not require that you log changes. So I'm going to go to the air handler on the first floor, and as I check the equipment properties, you'll see that there's a checkbox, require operator to report any changes to equipment. I'm going to enable this for the air handler, and now in Web Control, as I make changes, I'll be prompted to record a reason for doing so. What's nice about this feature is it's customizable. In other words, I can set it for each particular zone, all zones, some zones, or no zones. So oftentimes the specification will say you only have to record changes for particular pieces of equipment, and therefore you don't have to enable it globally on the whole system. You can specify exactly where you have to have this feature enabled. So let's go back to Web Control now. I'll go ahead and close Site Builder. Okay, and let's go ahead and change this set point back. Notice that Web Control now prompts me for a reason for making this change. So we'll just say, say that the set point change was requested by facility manager. This has now been logged to the database and can be retrieved using a reports function. If I navigate anywhere else in the system, however, I will not have to report a change. So the people in the less um, security conscious areas where the specification doesn't require it can still make their changes and won't be burdened with having to log them into the database. So now let's retrieve that. I'm going to go ahead and run a security report, audit log for the air handling unit. And under the options tab, you'll see that there's a reason box. If I check this, the reason that I typed in will then be displayed on the report. So let's just go ahead and run a report. And in fact, we see that on this very day, I changed my set point and my reason was logged. And that is the required operator comments feature of web controls.